Hey guys, it's J19 brought to you another video, and today, yes, I am finally able to do a full review of Horizon Forbidden West. I finished it up yesterday, I clocked in about 40 hours. If you guys want more uh, reviews of other games, or you want more uh, Horizon Forbidden West content, if we get new DLC and stuff, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay notified when I go live, or upload my next video. And when I said, let's uh, get right into it, I'm going to talk first about the visuals. I think visually, this game is one of the best visually visualized games I've played. I mean, definitely being on the PlayStation 5, I definitely see like the, the textures and stuff like that. Like the, especially the draw distance. Uh, the character models look great. The machines look great. Uh, as you guys can see right here, this all looks great. The walk... The water, the beaches, some of these uh, areas are just so fantastic. And it's just, I'm blown away. Um, there are some areas of the game, I'm going to be honest, that I thought could be a little bit more better texturalized, or maybe a little bit more crisp. But I understand that it's a perf not a performance issue for the PS5, it's more like last gen. PlayStation 4 does hold back games that are uh, trying to be made for the PlayStation 5. I truly think this game should have been a PlayStation 5 game, but cross-gen, I understand, Play Sony one, make sure it's on PlayStation 4, because not everybody has a PlayStation 5 right now, and this is one of their big titles. Um, I can talk about the characters. I think the characters are great. I played a uh, handful, quite a few uh, side quests, and even the side quest characters, the NPCs that you talk to, I thought they had like a nice personality. I thought they actually done a fantastic job like the characterization, personalities of the characters. I thought they actually felt almost like main characters. Um, and the main characters, wow, like Aloy, like the, the animations, um, Aaron, Varl, Silence. And I can could, could go on and on and on, but I don't want to spoil this game. I'm not going to spoil any all the characters or the story. So if you're worried about that, this is a non-spoiler. I will say, yes, the returning characters are here. Um, most of the ones that you saw from the first game. And I think they're a lot better in this game than they were in the first game. Uh, I think really games definitely learn their lesson from the first game. First game did have characterization. The... The character, especially the main characters, had char you know had personality. They were cool, but I think they approved upon that in every way. I think the music in this game is fantastic. I didn't feel any music that was kind of out in the left field or didn't fit right. I think they fit every moment, every like try moments and stuff like that. Uh, I just think that overall it was good. Location in this game is absolutely stunning. Like, whether you go inside a cauldron, whether you go explore the desert, the beaches, stuff of that nature. Of course, there are some low-res areas, I think, because it's a big, massive world. Um, there are some textures that are like, I don't know if it's because, uh, you know, like I said, it's probably because of the last gen. You know, it's kind of hinders it a little bit, but like I said, fantastic locations. Especially when you go out and do side quests with the main, uh, main care, uh, the main story, and I think the story itself, story itself is way better than the first one. First one's fine, but this one takes what you learn from the first game and expands it. And just knowing how the ending is and what we find out, we are definitely going to get a DLC that's going to finish the story off, or they plan on making a Horizon Three, and. Depending on how well this game sold, I think it sold extremely well. We'll find out when we get the official numbers soon. Um, I don't know if they posted it yet, but... I think Sony will say, Gorilla Games, feel free to go ahead and make a Horizon Forbidden West or DLC or a brand new game. I think a brand new game, it depends on how much content they want to put in for like the what we find out in the end. Um, it's, I can see them just doing a DLC and finish this up. Um, I don't know if they want to make it a third game, but all, all depends on Sony and whether or not Sony approves it. But 
I think I think this game could be a trilogy, but again, I can also see a DLC ending the series. And then Gorilla Games is open to try to do things. Um, we'll see what else. Oh yeah, the gameplay, the combat. I will say that I, I love the way you can take down machines. Uh, the AI is a lot smarter in the machines and the humans. They are more responsive. They actually search for you a lot better. They actually feel more realistic. Like they have better AI function. Um, like just uh, the hiding in the grass, I think it could use a little bit more work. Uh, I think they could make the grass a little taller because those guys still there. Her head is still above the leaves, but they don't see her. Um, they could change up like the like the colorization of the the grass you can hide in because it all, all all of them are like red. I know they don't necessarily players can see, okay, that's where I need to hide. I understand that, but it could change up a little bit, especially in different scenery. They don't have to be red all the time. Um, that, as far as I can see. Now, I didn't explore everything in this game, but there's a lot to do. Um, a lot of side quests. A lot of them feel good. Uh, the only thing that really bugged me a little bit is the the climbing a little bit. The climbing, like, Aloy one light one move. And, like, you literally had to, like, come on, AOA, let's go, you know, climb this last little piece. So she sometimes gets stuck. I can see why some people complain about that. You know, they did improve upon it with, like, seeing where you can climb up at. Um, instead of them, like, putting stuff there, you can actually use your focus. So I thought that was good. You know, but other than that, I think they could work on the climbing a little bit better. Feel stiff. I think gathering stuff is fine. I know a lot of people complain about that she has to stop and pick things up. You know, it's the animation. It feels kind of clunky. I can see that. I can see that a little bit. Like it was a little bit annoying. Like I want to pick things up on the go, but she had to stop and pick it up. Well, like animation is like stop. Um, now there's some ridiculous animations where I charge up my staff to like full power, like the heavy the heavy attack, which is my favorite move for the melee attack and she would jump like about 15 20 feet ahead just to hit the nearest machine sometimes sometimes she won't do that so i don't know if that's like a technical issue um that gorilla games can probably fix in the dlc or maybe the next game um but that was a little bit like that was inconsistent um a lot of newer weapons like some of the uh tools and stuff i didn't use in the first game but use took advantage of in this game I thought it was fantastic. I don't really like the uh, the trip casters. I didn't really use those. I, I was getting a little frustrated that I couldn't connect the two spots because they kept breaking. Like it was too far. Um, I think I think some of that could be a little just a little bit better, make them a little more useful. But I didn't use the trip casters. Uh, the the new tool called the pole caster. I thought that was pretty neat to pull yourself to it ledges if you're close enough. I thought that was great. Great little uh, gameplay uh, addition. Um, flight machines learn their uh, learning their uh, weaknesses, their strength, and how they fight and stuff. That was fun. Um, I ended up have to play this on story difficulty. Um, I tried easy. Easy was all right. Normal was tough. I got to a point where they put pit you up, and I done a video on this. Where they pit you against a machine is like. W level, and the level told you it's supposed to be level 17. I didn't like that. So as we move into the stuff I didn't like about this game, uh, I had some technical issues with this game. Um, the climbing, a little bit. Uh, Aloy would like get stuck on stuff easily, so I couldn't move. Um, some of the, uh, st as I had a stuttering issue so bad at one spot, I think they did fix it. I didn't experience it again, but it stuttered so much that it hurt my eyes. I had to take a break from this game. I almost, almost wanted to uninstall it until I talked to some people about how to fix it. And apparently, Gorilla Games fixed it finally. But another thing I had issues of is like, it, it was kind of like freaky. As I came up to the, like this base of these, uh, of these tribes, and one of the warriors, he showed like the head, the clothing, but it had no arms, no legs. So I was like, wow, for being a Sony game, that was not a like a good representation of the of the one of the best one of the 
big games, big titles, you know, big studios. I think that Guerrilla Games still needs to tweak this game a little bit, make it a little better. Um, what else I had? I heard issues of other people's playthrough I've never had, but I had instances where, like, you had a cutscene, or you're talking to a character and stuff, and in the background you see a machine or a human, dead body, like, kind of just fidgeting and, and twitching. It kind of caught, caught my attention. So I kind of brought it down a little bit. Um, I think, I think some of the uh, story, like some of the story quests I done, were a little bit long. Um, it wasn't bad. I like, I just felt like, like going down, searching through the stuff. I got stuck. Like level, some of the level design. I think, I think that's what it was. Some of the level design was a little confusing. Um, Especially when I went inside, like, bases and stuff, I couldn't figure out how to get through it. Um, even though if you use your, say, use your focus, I did. So some of that was a little frustrating. Um, and some, as this game loves to do a heavy dump truck uh, full of lore uh, and backstory of this game. Um, and I'm like, one moment I was trying, not streaming it, but I was playing offline, and, uh, it's just, boy, it's just, it, it, it was overwhelming a little bit. It's like, man, I got to take this all in and, and really just, you know, just take a take a break from the game and think about what just happened because, man, they, they just put a lot on you, especially learning about, learning about things. I won't mention it here because um, I don't want to spoil the game if people haven't played it because this game did come out like a week before Elden Ring, which is understandable. I mean, a lot of people beat this game more than the first week. Of course I couldn't, game got delayed, tried streaming, I had issues with my Wi-Fi, and uh, that wasn't fun. I finally got it done, finally beat the game, and overall I'm satisfied with the game. Um, there were some moments in the game where I was almost not, not in tears, but I was emotional, like it just emotionally impacted me of certain characters, certain moments in the story, and shockers, but man, this game is unbelievably good when it does when it does run greatly um the, the nitpicks i have the little negativity i have of this game it's fine um i didn't really do like the some of the stuff they had like the melee the melee pits and uh there's a game called uh, machine strikers and i thought it was a fun little mini game but i didn't really play it like let's focus on the story i might go back and play it later but i think it's fun it's a fun little concept um, could be a fun little mini game. I, I heard a lot of people liked it, but then again, I didn't really focus on that. Focus on the story. I want to do this and get my review out. So, the final verdict here is, guys. As me, your host, J19, has played Horizon Forbidden West, I liked the first game. I think the second game was way better. But, what I said, I can't give this game a 10 out of 10. I can't give this game a 9 out of 10 because of some of the technical issues I had and some of it kind of drew me out of, out of it a little bit. I'm going to give this thing, I think, an 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. Still a fantastic game. Still a great game. I highly recommend it. It's just, please, guys, keep in mind that if you have, just, you might have issues. You might not. Who knows? But this is a great game. This is a great game. Eight and a half out of ten. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I definitely highly recommend you guys playing this game. Check it out if you play the first game. If not, they do have a like a two to three minute recap of the first game, which is all right. But if you want the full experience, go play Zero Dawn. But if you don't, you can watch the recap and jump right into this. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a comments, uh, thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Also, comment down below what you guys think of Horizon from the West. I guess plan on picking this up later on on a sale, or if you have played it, let me know what you guys think of it. And as always, hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. As always, I'll have another video later for Stranger Paradise, the demo. I'm going to be playing that a little bit later. I expect the video probably tomorrow, or... The next day, I just want to give time to play it, but I do have some thoughts. So you guys probably know how I feel about the demo, but I want to give my thoughts on that and how I think about Stranger Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. 
So with that said, that's all I had for you guys today. Horizon Forbidden West review, honest review by me. Hope you guys appreciate it. If you do, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification to stay notified when I go live or upload my next video. As, as always, I'll have links in the description below for my Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, Discord. Feel free to like, uh, follow, and uh, join so we can discuss this game and many other things. So that said, guys, be safe out there. Be nice to each other. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and soul. Thank you guys for, uh, for the love and support as always. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.